My name is Kat and I'm the children's librarian here at the Tewksbury Public Library. Thank you for joining us for our Sprouts Craft this week. Today we're going to be making our very own paper plate llamas. For today's craft you need one paper plate that's been cut in half, crayons, scissors, and glue. If you got your kit at the library, you'll already have this part done. But if not, you want to draw this shape, a big long neck, a big round nose, and two little bumps at the top. You want to make it as big as you can on this flat part of the plate. That's our llama's face. Then you want to draw a circle here. That's about the size of a quarter. And four of these loopy things, they kind of look like flower petals. Those will be our llama's legs. The first thing you want to do is cut out all of these shapes. I'm going to use my scissors here and go right up the lines. Okay, we are ready to go. This part here is going to be the llama's blanket. So I am going to trace that in this nice, pretty blue color. Of course, you can use whatever color you like. And we're gonna color that in. But first, we can decide if we want the llama to be a special color. And I think mine is going to be pink. So I have this pink crayon that doesn't have a lot of wrapper on it. And I'm just going to rub it up and down on my little llama legs and tail and face. You can leave yours white if you want. You can make it polka dotted or striped. It is your artwork and it can look however you want it to. I don't think llamas are pink in real life, although I admit I haven't seen too many in person. Go. we go. Isn't that pretty? I like how it looks when we do it on the paper plate too because you get that really neat ridged texture. And of course take your time and make it look however you like. There we go. I think that looks pretty. Now I'm going to take some other crayons and decorate my llama's face before we glue it on. So I'm going to put some pink inside the middle of his ears there. I'm going to take the same blue we used here and give him a muzzle, like a bridle. So if you're riding your llama, they kind of look like this. And then I'll take some brown and I'll give him an eye right there and we'll give him a little smile and a little line for the nose. Isn't that cute? Now we can color in this part and this again can look however you want it to. It could be polka dots, it could be stripes. I'm doing some zigzags and I am going to color this in. There we go, he is all set. Now we just have to glue him together. So I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of the llama's neck here. And that's going to go right at the edge of the paper plate. So it's like his body is going right up to his long neck. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm gonna put some glue on the edge and then put this little ball, puff ball there for his tail. And then I'll put some glue on the flat edges of the little curvy pieces. There we go. And there we have our little legs. Two in the front and two in the back. And there we are. We have a llama. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you had fun. 
You can follow us here on YouTube for lots of other arts and crafts videos, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Tewksbury L-I-B. Have a wonderful day.